We demonstrate a system for stylizing a video into a variety of non-photorealistic, or NPR, styles. You see some results here. Video has proven notoriously difficult to stylize automatically. Here you see an image segmented by mean shift as used by DiCarlo and Santella. Unfortunately, when mean shift is applied frame by frame to video, the result is temporally very incoherent. We first show how to modify mean shift to operate successfully on video. We segment the spatio-temporal video as a whole into 3D segments. We also modify the mean shift kernel to be anisotropic to better adapt to the long, thin structures one sees in the spatio-temporal slice of the video. Here, one scan line crossing the girl on the monkey bars appears as the wiggly path in time. Applying standard kernels to this slice creates noisy results in the temporal dimension. Anisotropic mean shift corrects this as can be seen along the straight boundaries of the static objects. We can display the segmentation itself as an NPR result. Note the temporal coherence compared to the frame-by-frame -frame result. We can also process the segments to, for example, selectively change the saturation. However, our main use of the mean shift result is to guide the user's stylization choices. Here, the user is performing a rotoscoping process indicating semantically meaningful objects on keyframes in the video. The spatio-temporal mean shift result guides the user's input forward and backward in time to create a highly nonlinear interpolation that follows the video. Returning to the slice we saw before, you can see how this works. Each user-drawn loop in the 2D frame now appears as a short line segment. The mean shift segments encompassed by the loop on the first and second keyframes are highlighted. A superset of the union is created by including segments that are surrounded in the spatial dimension by the simple union of segments. We then optimize the boundary of this set to provide additional smoothness. The resulting 3D semantic region provides the basic structure for further stylization. We further smooth the region surface to create two-dimensional edge sheets. When sliced in time, the resulting curves are rendered as ink strokes. The thickness of an ink stroke is varied along its spatial and temporal length, both for style and to allow edges to appear and exit smoothly. Edge thickness and color can also be modulated based on the edge motion and orientation. The regions can be rendered as solid colors or can be filled with the original pixels from the video, as in the head region here or with the mean shift segments or any linear combination of all three choices. The regions can also be filled with paint strokes. Here the user is adding paint strokes at the keyframes. In much the same way as the regions and edge sheets are created, the strokes are interpolated in time. On the spatio-temporal slice, the skeleton of the stroke is simply a point. These points are flowed forward and backward to create a path through time that respects the mean shift results and the user-defined semantic regions. Finally, the background can be considered a large semantic region itself. Static backgrounds are simply stylized by hand using current image editing methods or can be completely replaced by a hand-drawn image, as in this drawing created by the same girl who is depicted on the monkey bars. In this example, we see the original video. And now, the video is stylized by modifying the background and filling semantic regions with solid color. Now we blend the original pixels and the mean shift segmentation results in the face. We can then slice the edge sheets to add edges. The clutter of edges is reduced by indicating for each region its own edge importance. Finally, we return to our mean shift constrained interpolation to allow the user to add spatio-temporal subregions in the shirt to indicate shadowing. We have shown how an anisotropic mean shift segmentation method applied to video can assist the construction of temporally coherent stylization of video. The mean shift result can be used on its own, but becomes even more powerful when used to guide the artist's input. We look forward to exploring many more stylistic choices within this framework. Okay, you can come down now.